Hey everybody, it's me, Dana, aka Triple C, and welcome into Craft Hour with Triple C, guys. Good morning. It is Monday, guys. It is Monday. Let me see if I can get the camera. There we go. It is Monday. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Come on in. Hit those thumbs up if you haven't yet. I truly appreciate you all being here. Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Hit those thumbs up, guys. I appreciate you all being here on this awesome day. Craft R with Triple C, guys, and I appreciate many of you getting that word out, spreading the, um, you know, sharing me out, all those good things, telling people about me in this awesome morning stream um, in your different chat. So thank you so much for doing that, because Monday through Friday, if you don't know, I will be going live one hour, 9 a.m. Eastern to 10 a.m. Eastern. Now, sometimes I might come in a tad bit late, and so we end a tad bit late, but for the most part, I try to be as close as to 9 a.m. as possible. Today, I was a couple minutes late, guys. I was just sitting here trying to see what yarn I wanted to use for this, okay? Um, I thought I was going to use one yarn, and I have no idea what happened to the yarn. It's somewhere, you know. That's one of those days, guys. So I'm drinking my coffee. I will be greeting everybody. I'm just waiting for everybody to come on in. That's what I always do here because we only have an hour, guys. And if I just keep, you know, if I kind of wait a little bit, it'll make it a little bit easier. So I appreciate you all coming in. I usually come in, we do a prayer, I greet everybody, then we go through some announcements, and then we go through what we're talking about for the day. And then I say goodbye or see you later, I should say, to everybody. Hope you guys had a great weekend, all those good things, guys. I'm just going to drink a little bit of this black coffee. Many of you know I am doing black coffee, no sugar, no cream. And so far, so good. I have, I'm down some weight. I will admit I am down some weight. So at this given point, I'm actually using coffee for energy. I'm not using coffee for taste anymore. I've gotten really used to the blah taste of it. And the fact that my son makes it really, really strong, so it gives me like a really powerful flavor. He makes this really strong, guys. I'm going to be very, very honest. All right, so we have nine to build. I'm going to go ahead and get into the prayer so I can greet everybody after work. I just had to drink a tad bit of coffee, guys. It's that morning time. Got to have a little coffee to wake up with. Okay, guys. Let me go ahead and get our prayer on for today. And then we'll get into the fun and the activities and all that good stuff. All right, you ready? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just come thank you for this day, God. Breathing breath into us and waking us up, God. You're so awesome. I appreciate you and I love you and I adore you. God, as I magnify your name in this place, Father God, I just give you all the glory. I thank you for everyone in the chat. God, I ask that you just touch us and cover us. With the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, Father God. Some people did not wake up on today, God. So I'm asking for you to prepare the family. I'm asking you to strengthen the family, Father God. We're praying for Antonia, who just lost her grandmother yesterday, Father God. And we're asking you to cover up and lift her up, God. Give her some strength, God. Give her family strength right now, God. I ask that you just give them, um, fill them with your power, God. They'll be able to get to know you, Father God. I ask that they get to know who you are, Father God. If they don't know you now, God, I'm asking that they get to know you now, their relationship, because it gets stronger with you, Father God. They get closer in their word. Father God, they begin to talk to you more, pray to you more, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that you just keep lifting up, God. Uh, help them to remember the life of their grandmother, Father God, um, with the good things, God, the celebration, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone's dealing with any sadness or loneliness, any depression, Father God, I'm asking you right now just to help them right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, give them happiness. Give them peace. Peace of mind, God. Peace in their home. Peace on their jobs, God. Oh, God. Peace with their children. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I actually give them peace that surpasses all understanding. God, your word says the joy of the Lord is our strength, God. So we're asking for you to give us some strength on today, God. Give us strength, Father God. Lead us. Guide us, God. Show us where you want us to be and where you want us to go, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just ask this chat. Run smoothly. Let it be a great day, God. I give you all the honor, I don't take it lightly for this platform. So thank you for giving me a platform, Father God, to share my craft and uh, share more about you as well, Father God. I also thank you for um, everyone here, God. And I ask that you just bind up any type of spam, any trolls, Father God, any cyberbullying, God. I just ask that you just let it run smoothly, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that's dealing with any lack or lack in finances or any type of broken relationships or broken hearts, God, I ask that you just mend them, restore relationships, Father God, and um, actually that you just give an increase in our finances. God, you're so awesome and you're so mighty. I thank you. I thank you for everything that you're doing. God, I know what you're going to do. So I just thank you in advance for the testimony that's going to go forth. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. I give you all the glory. In your son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Come on in. Thank y'all so much for the morning, the love, the thumbs up, the share outs. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Hello, everybody. Good morning. 
I'm going to go through and read everybody's comments just to give everybody some love and to let everybody know I do see you guys' comments. I don't want anyone to think I'm ignoring you because that's not what I'm doing. I just kind of let everybody get in, kind of chat, relax. You know, it's kind of like getting in the house, taking off your shoes, taking off your coat, getting your snack. I'm just like, I let everybody do that for like the first 10 minutes or so, five to 10 minutes, depending on how late I am. <laughs> and then I just kind of pray and then I go into the comments. I don't want anybody like, well, okay, she's singing or come. Yeah, I'm singing, guys. Please forgive me. I just kind of let you guys get in, and I know Dina, she gets in. She's like, okay, I'll start the party. And I, I can see Dina starting already, so she started, which is great. So, you know, my beautiful niece is in the building as well, so she'll be helping if anybody needs any help. My beautiful niece, God's Girl Creations, guys, check her out. Subscribe to her channel. I, I know you're already subscribed. I don't even have this worry, right? You're subscribed already? All right. If you're not, please, God's Girl Creations, this is my niece. If you love me, you'll love her, so please go subscribe to her. Um, she'll be helping out my husband. Joe Sports, he'll be helping out as well. Um, and also Mama J Way, Mama J Way's in the building, she'll be helping out as well. So I'm gonna go there and greet everybody really quick, okay? I'm trying not to talk as fast. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning that a lot of people that I watch, mm -hmm, the time goes, they, they have more to talk. I don't know. I'm learning that they don't talk as fast. So, you know, they have I don't know how to explain it. I feel like the faster I talk, the faster, you know what I'm saying? The, the time goes by. I've covered so much in this short period of time. And then by the time, you know, you know, so I feel like maybe I should start, start, start talking slower. But I feel like maybe if I talk slower, will that decrease my energy level? Because you know what I mean? I'm like, pop, pop. I got that energy. So I don't know if I start talking slower, will it begin to create a boring person in me? I have no idea. We shall see. I'm going to not try to talk too slow, though. I don't think my body can physically do it because we have fast talkers in my family. So we're going to start this morning off with Ashley's live. Hello, Ashley. Come on in the building. I'm hoping my husband will share me out um, and all that good stuff. But you know what? I probably could share this out too. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I may be able to share this out, guys. Okay. Let me do that right now. Share me out. Okay, let me see. So everybody who is here, um, I do every day, every week. I am, I am pressing myself, okay, to write a new pattern every week. Now I don't know, it, I don't know exactly what day this pattern will be released. I guess it really depends on how. Um, what was I gonna say? Mom. Hold on one second. Please, hold on one second, please. Um. So guys, um. I will be re releasing one pattern per week, okay? And so um, it will be a paid pattern, but for those who come into this chat, we'll be able to get it for free. Um, I have a certain amount of numbers for free, so you'll be able to get it for free. Then I have a certain amount of numbers that you'll be able to get a percentage off, and then everyone else will have to get it for, um, you know, the regular price. So I'm going to come in, and we're going to talk about everything that we're doing. I have to figure this all out in a second. I'll get it. I'm not ready yet anyways. So I'm going to go greet everybody. Come on in, everybody. Okay, so let's see. Dina's in the building. Hey, Dina, how are you doing? Ashley, you know Ashley's life. I hope you subscribed to her. She is starting the world of crochet, okay? And I'm excited to see exactly what she's doing and how she's going to be doing it. So God's girl, my niece, says she had bacon, eggs, and biscuit. Lord, that sounds delicious. Yeah, you know, I'm not eating meat anymore right now, guys. And, and, and it's helping. I will admit it is helping. Um, I've looked at other pictures. My husband's like, hey, look at other pictures. I'm like. I don't see it yet, but he's seen it. Um, I did notice, I do still have a little chinnery here, okay? I still got a little extra chinnery, but it's the it's slimming down, okay? And I realized me playing with it is probably not going to help, okay? So I will leave it alone, because usually I will be, like, playing with it like it's a bit of taffy, and I, I decided to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone, guys, because I don't want to stretch it. <laughs> I'm going to just, like, walk around with Kyle's on. Hey, guys. <laughs> this is going to be the new me. Are you guys hiding? I'm just hiding a little chinnery here. Words. Okay. Hello, everybody. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I think I'm a little goofy this morning. This coffee has got me started, and I'm excited. Hello, my beautiful Cheryl. That's my sister, guys. If you don't know her, Cheryl Hayes. Now, she's not a YouTuber, but she is an Instagrammer and a Facebooker. This woman, okay, she creates everything. She's really, like, she likes a challenge. Now, don't give her too many big hooks or too many thick yarns because it's not, that's not a per alley. Not saying she can't do it. It's just she likes to find her things in life. All right. So uh, <laughs> don't give her those big old hooks, but she will definitely 
make up every cardigan, every stuffed animal. She will do it all. She she will do it, definitely. I would say amigurumi, guys. Okay, let's see what everybody's saying. Oh my goodness, and my niece is asking Dina over there getting their conversation. Now, thank you so much, y'all. Too, I think y'all for starting it off right. Thank y'all for keeping this chat going while I was waiting around and finicking with whatever I needed to get done. <laughs> my sister Manda's in the building. I appreciate you so much for being here, Manda. I love you. Hope you're enjoying your morning. Okay, and I'm gonna keep looking up in prayer. I know holiday season's coming, and there's no you are not alone. Okay, I love you so so much. You are the best sister ever. Dina's in the building. She says share. Okay, well thank you. Tina for sharing and sweet tea's in the building. Good morning, sweet tea. I'm sorry, guys. I'm behind the comments. If you're coming in the building, forgive me. Forgive me, guys. I'm trying to figure out a way to make this stream go <laughs> without um, you know, I, I realize that some people are really like behind the chat. Some people are really like don't read all the chat. I'm trying to figure out what do I need to do, guys. Just keep it the same way. Like just pile, keep it going. What do I, what do I need to do, guys? Keep it the same way. Just keep it the same on me, right? Wiper vlog. Guys, if you don't have wiper vlog, I'm asking you to grab wiper it up. Guys, remember, you're always welcome to bake in the chat. If you're in this building, you're always welcome to drop your links if you're a member or moderator. And um, all those good things. And if you're not a moderator, I'm asking you to type CC. That way, you, your link will be getting here. here. Sweet Tea, um, she's going to begin to her 1K very, very soon. Um, if you guys don't have Sweet Tea, she's, her name is Teresa Patton. This woman is amazing. Her craft is delicious. I love everything that she's doing. And she's a big supporter of ours. So what we're going to do, even though she's not a member, <laughs> She does membership things, okay? Sweet Tea is not a member, and I'm, I don't count her uh, like as a member. So, you know, we got some people who are not necessarily members on paper, but when they're members in every other aspect, they're members. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Um, Sweet Tea is one of those people. She's she's prayed for. She's lifted us up. She's given us words of encouragement. Like, you just don't. You're like, when people do that, like, you you have to make sure you give honor where honor is due. And um, the word says, given it shall be given. So, Definitely, well, she's going to be getting what she deserves because she deserves it all. She's helped so many people, encouraged so many people. My cousin's in the building. Hey, cuz her name is Angie, but her channel is called Loving Every Stage by Ruby Baby. Guys, if y'all didn't know, she reached 1K here. Congratulations, my cousin. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. And she is celebrating that. So if you haven't been over to her channel, go check her out. All right, go check her out very, very soon. All right. Hello, Jules. She's in the deep in the heart of Texas. Hey, Jules. Minister Music, we love you. How are you doing? Appreciate you all for being in the building. You guys are the best family ever. If you don't have Minister of Music, Terrence, I'm asking you to grab him up now. Your life will be forever changed once you visit his channel, and I will promise you that, okay? After we leave here, he will be going live with beautiful meditation, and you'll be able to start your day off with cleaning or crafting or whatever else, and your spirit will be in a really good place. Welcome in Wawa's home. I appreciate you. I hope you're still in the building. I'm Dana, aka Triple C, and that's for anyone who's coming into the chat right now. Welcome into the Triple C and Joe Show, guys. I appreciate you. And guess those freakies in the building. Yes, 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 yes. Please hit the thumbs up, guys. I haven't mentioned it, mentioned it a lot, but when you come into a chat, I ask that you all hit that dummy thumb because thumbs are a way to show appreciation for your people. Thumbs are a way to show appreciation for the person that you're watching. And YouTube kind of gives us pats on the back for our thumbs. Okay, so um, we don't do this. Uh, we do this, but we do this. <laughs> Because we need those pats on the back. We need those um, ways to get pushed out there. So the more times you guys give us a thumb, that means more people get to know who we are. And then it'll make us the chat better. It'll make the giveaways better. It'll do all those things. So it'll help us out. And we all work together here. Cynthia, I appreciate you being here. Cynthia's Joyful Creations. I get the pleasure of being with her on Fridays where she does a couple live streams. I was confused at first. I know she told me nine come here for the chat like we do like a chat or a movie or a TV show. All right. Um, she's gotten me hooked on so many different things now. <laughs> then, um, like 7 p.m. Eastern time, she'll do, do a different live beforehand. I think it's kind of like a chat type of ordeal. So she does that on Fridays. Thank you, honey, for cheering me out. I appreciate you guys in the building. Freaky, everybody that's here, you guys are the best. I miss you over the, oh my God, I'm sorry, Jules. Yes, we used to try to do the weekends and it was really, really hard. And then we started using weekends to go on other people's platforms. But this weekend, <laughs> We didn't go anybody's platform, <laughs> so um, it was no no one asked us really, and uh, we just really it felt really good. I don't know how you guys, how was your weekend, Vivian? I appreciate you. Good morning. Um, and let's see. Exactly, but the thing is, Sweet Tea's like I would love to be a member, but the thing is, <laughs> Sweet Tea doesn't. Sweet Tea's a member. That's what I'm trying to say, Sweet Tea. That that's why I say you are a member, <laughs> despite paper or not. 
you are a member, sweetie. You don't understand what you do. You don't you don't understand all the beautiful things that you do and all the help that you give. So you are a member. You will be to your goal. I guarantee you that one. Um, I just want to give you that love because, you know, when people do things for you, sometimes people, you know, it's, they don't do it to be recognized. Sweet Tea's not one of those people who's like, oh, yeah, shot me. No, she doesn't, like, she just wants to be a, she wants to be a blessing. So I want to be a blessing to you. That's all I'm saying, Sweet Tea. Oh, my goodness. So proud of you. Miss you. Oh, my goodness. Cheryl Hayes, that's my beautiful sister. I miss you, too. And I thank you for the proud. I thank you for being proud of me. Um, You don't even know how much that means to me. When you have people that you've grown up with, unnecessary grown with but you know actually kind of grown up with seriously over these last several years and they've seen you do different things and they and you bounce ideas off of them and they bounce ideas off of you it just feels really really good i'm telling you and for them to see your vision things that you talk to them about and then they see it come to pass like okay you're doing okay i see what you're doing and that really brings really really um joy and you don't do holidays they're money making i will do meals and family time without okay there you go so some people are not doing holidays i understand that me, I like to have that holiday time with the family. Um, hey, Inger, come on in. Hmm. Let me see what everybody's saying. So, yes, we used to do the weekends, guys. But you know what? It was really tiring. <laughs> we could not get any rest. So we were like, you know what? Let's use the weekend to have some fun. So what do you guys do on the weekends? Um, I want to have, there's going to be maybe, um, I'm, I'm going to be probably doing a collab with one of the veterans of YouTube, but I'm trying to figure out what day we're going to pick. I'm not sure exactly what day. So we're trying to figure that out. Um, so we'll let you guys know about that. But, um, and I have my first yarn swap coming in. I don't know. Many of you have already done some yarn swaps, correct? I've never done one. <clears throat> so I get to do my first yarn. So I'm super duper excited, y'all. Yes, you know, I'm. You say yes. You have beautiful. Hey, Tree Lynn, you have beautiful soul. Just want to stop and say, oh my goodness, Tree Lynn, I appreciate that love and that support. Thank you for that. You know, it's really good when people can just, you know, come in with those sweet kind words. Nancy, hello. He said, hi, Dana. Our area is flooded. What? Thank God we have power. No water now. Oh my goodness. And I'm so sorry to hear that, Nancy. I'm gonna make sure I put you on our prayer list. Let me see, Nancy. Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 You never done it. Yeah. You never done so. So I'm like interested. I'm going to start doing swappies. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start doing yarn swaps. And I believe like if you guys want to do one, let me know. I'm going to be doing my first yarn swap, which is going to be fun. And I'm not really sure how it works. I, I'm just going to be honest. But I guess you would talk to whoever you want to talk to, whoever you're paired with, probably via emails, DMs, however you guys contact with each other. And then you would say, hey, what kind of yarns are you interested in? You know? Um, well, I'm going to be getting something from a person that's in the same home like me. Um, and so, um, we're going to be, she's going to ask me what kind of yarns I've never had. I'm going to ask her what kind of yarns she's never had, or, you know, it's different ways to do it. If it's sometimes it can be a yarn swap, something that you already have, and maybe it's a discontinued yarn. And you're like, Oh, do you have any more of this? I want to make a sweater, but I only, I need two more skeins. Do you have this? Oh yeah. Like you can do that. Or you can do like, Oh my goodness. In my region, we don't have this yarn. Or I have no way to get here. I can't travel this far or whatever. And then they can say, oh, sure. And then you can, I mean, it's so much things you can do. Why is it called a swap? And I, well, I don't know. I never really created this, um, Freaky. I never, I ne I wasn't a namer of it. I just heard people say swaps. <laughs> That's just how it is. Okay. And you said, um, Jewel says, I have a giveaway going that ends this afternoon. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, have y'all been over to Jewel's house? Oh, my goodness, guys. Please go over to Jewel's house. She has a, a giveaway that's ending this afternoon. Oh, my goodness. Are, or is it going to be a live video, Jules? Or is this going to be a video? Like, please tell me more about this. How did I not even know? I'm sorry. You probably told me this, but my memory. I, 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 it's hard for me to get into giveaways sometimes. You know why? Because I will forget to go back to the winner. And then they'll pick another winner. And I'm so horrible. Mm -mm -mm. I love Bible studies. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do you do that? Thank, thank you. Thank you, God's girl. Yes. My beautiful niece, God's girl creation does the Bible study every every Saturday, 10 a.m. And I thank you for many of you have been coming up and showing up and supporting guys. 10 a.m. every Saturday. Now come on and show some love to this beautiful young woman who's giving her heart to God and giving her channel as well to God. All right. 
Okay. Okay, so 4 p.m. Eastern time. We are studying Proverbs. I am three away from 600. What? Here we go, guys. We're over here trying to get each other some love. That's why I said, guys, always, you're always welcome to bake in the chat, guys. You're always welcome to do that. Bake in the chat, craft in the chat, you know? You guys are so amazing. Yes, Oinger says Lady Bird's. Okay, but that's fine if Lady Bird is um, live, but uh, live etiquette is just not coming into someone else's live and saying, oh, someone else is live. So it's fine that she's live, but just do not announce it in my live. Let's see, video that I pre-recorded. Okay, so hubby um, home today, and he and dogs required me to edit. Oh, okay. Get out of here. Okay, well, I cannot wait to see that, guys. Please go over, hurry, and get that giveaway in, guys, all right? Um, <laughs> Mama J, wait, good morning. I'm so happy that you hear you overslept. I know, I almost did, okay? We had a good weekend. I'm going to be honest. I had a good weekend. I got to go hang out with my family, though, and I got to do my mom's hair. That was a plus. The weekend was beautiful. Church was beautiful. Um, we took a before and after pic with the same outfit on. Um, and my husband was really assuring me that we did lose some weight. I'm telling you, we, he assured me that. What I'm going to do is to play with a little bit of Tunisian crochet today, okay? That's what I'm going to do. You guys want to you have some fun with Tunisian crochet? I figure it'll be something fun to do. Today's yarn will be I Love This Cotton. Now, I know you guys always tell you, I don't ever have a love this yarn. I love this cotton. No, this is really old. <laughs> I bought this because it was a do for pattern. It was um, some slippers. No, not slippers. What is it? Flip flops, sandal flip flops. I made these. I had this maybe a year or two ago. And um, I wanted to use, um, I was going to use my mainstay yarn, mainstay cotton. I don't know where it is right now. So I decided to go ahead and grab this up. And I hope it looks good on the camera. And guess what else I'm going to got, got buy, guys? I'm going to buy anybody know about hey good morning everybody love you all come on in hey christy yeah it was you know what jules it was a really lovely weekend i don't know if you guys ever had one of those weekends where you're just um it just feels good to just relax you know and i worked on something this is what i've been working on all weekend i'm going to show you with you right quick that's what you're doing vivian is doing tunisian already she said i've been doing some tunisian oh no vivian you've been doing tunisian right you've been doing tunisian yes vivian you've been working on all kind of good stuff Tunisia, did you finish up your um your what is it called? Did you finish up your um your peppermint and you're moving on some good things? You love this? Yes, you have some and it's really soft. It is. And I know that mainstay is, is very similar to this, very similar to Phil. Good morning, my niece Kelly. I love you so much. How are you feeling? Hello, all yes, hello to everyone showing up. Freaky say hey to everybody that's in the building. Come on in, y'all. And so I've been working on this baby now, due to the fact that I was hanging out with my beautiful niece Kelly and so many other people yesterday. I was doing a little more chatting than crafting. So, but I did get a nice amount done. So I'll show you what I have done so far. I'm going to work on it at the bowling alley tonight and see how far. So far, guys, I've only used three skeins of uh, jumbo. And I bought six. And I'm thinking the six chains of uh six chains of scumbo. <laughs> I'm thinking six six chains of scumbo will be really, really good for this. No, seriously. I think six uh skeins of jumbo yarn will be good for this. Guys, look at that. I'm going to be making it about 96 inches long, and it is really nice right now. Very, very nice. My niece, Kelly, over at Kelly's Grocery Adventures, got me started with Afghans. And there's a book called Weekend, Afghan in a Weekend, right, by Leisure Arts, okay? And so the book is really nice, but you can use that same Afghan book, the same stitches, and make something a bit, a bit bigger, right? Um, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm making this wider than the normal size, and, um, and it still is a yarn saver. I'm about stitches that are yarn savers. And I picked gray, I picked white and um, red. And I thank you guys for all your help on how many rows to do per stitch. I mean, you guys are the best. So, so far, so good, guys. I believe six games, guys, will do the trick. And um, seriously, I, like I said, I'm doing 12 rows of the red, 12 rows of gray, and four rows of white in between. And I'm telling you, I believe the six games of jumbo is really going to be enough. And that was, um, you know, I think that's a good deal. You know, hey, everybody, thank y'all so much. Super chat, super chat. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I put that book on my wish list. <clears throat> what? Cousin Angie, you put that on your, on your wish list? See? And who taught me about wish lists? You guys taught me about wish lists. Thank you so much, Kelly. I love you. Kelly gave us a super chat. Thank you so, so much. Guys, I appreciate you so much. You guys are amazing. Um, people don't know super chats are really good to give to your people that you're watching. Um, this is a blessing to their channel. You can help with giveaways. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways, guys. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do a 70, 50 skein. 
I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're, we're going to figure this baby out. If not, I'll do some in-betweeners until I figure out how to do it. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do it on this live stream. I'm thinking about how to do this where everybody will be here. So I'm, maybe we'll do it. We'll shop here on live stream and do it like that. That way we can fill up the cart with yarn and then we'll draw the name. Wow. You know, Ooh, that's what I'll do. How about that? How about I do a video? This is a giveaway. Everybody comment. Then we'll do a live stream, pick everything up, draw the name, and then I'll put the address in and ship it out. Oh, that's Oh, I just took a load off myself because I'm like, I'm not sending it to me. I'm not. I don't want to send it to me. Then send it out. It's just too much work. I made this Tunisian washcloth once. This girl, it did. Yeah, and then you can do a um, single crochet around it like a border. Hey, Lady K, come on in. Hello, you Liz. Well, welcome in, Liz. <laughs> Brenton Farm Homestead. I appreciate you guys. Come on in. Hit those thumbs up, guys. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. I hope I didn't miss any money, but if I did, forgive me. I love you all. No, yes, no, I'm not finished. I had another problem. I wasn't paying attention. So, um, as usual, I put it down for a day, then I went back and redo. Now I'm good. Okay, that's what I'm, sometimes we got to do that, guys. I don't know if you guys are feeling the same way, but I do the same thing. I put a project down just because it's like, okay, I'm done with it. I had enough of it. Sometimes we have enough, right? Um, but this one right here, for some reason, guys, I'm not playing with other projects. Um, and I usually do that. I usually grab something else to play in between time. But for some reason, I just want to get this done, you know? Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to see how much I can get done in that. Cause I really think it's going to be a yarn saver and sweet tea says, I have not learned Tunisian yet, but maybe I will learn in the new year. Yes. I do have to, um, tutorials guys. I mean, Hey, Tiana, I love you. How you doing? Tiana, I can only be me. This woman is a big supporter. You guys are amazing. Freeze. I like shopping with, with the winner via Skype. Yes. Yep. Just like that. Yes. 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 Good morning, everybody. Please hit the thumbs up. Sticky, welcome in. We appreciate you, Sticky, for being here. Guys, we got some great family here, some good members. You're always welcome to bake in the chat. And I thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, sweetie. Oh, you are so amazing. Thank y'all so much for the super chats. This is crazy. And so I've never, I, Heather Hicks has given me a super chat in this morning stream. And it just feels really good. Thank y'all so much. And like I said, guys, we're going to be having some fun. Um, And I have some things to send out. We're, we're, this chat, I love it because. We're going to do every craft. It's not going to be just crochet. It's not going to be, you know, it's going to be everything. And if anybody ever has any suggestions, please leave them in the comments or something like that. Or send me an email, all those good things so we can have some fun. Super chat, super chat. Yes, we need to keep learning. And I'm all about learning, too. I'm not saying I'm the, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm, um, you know, I'm not going to say I'm the, you know, the perfect person or anything. I know everything, but we're going to learn together. Hey, Heather, come on in. Hi, welcome in. Good morning, everybody. I'm so happy that you guys are here. Everyone, I don't want when I say guys, I know some people do not like saying guys, but you know, I say guys a lot. I think I might do a what is those, what is those um compilations of me saying guys? Hey guys, hey guys, come on. Hey guys. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna drop my link so that way I can get in the camera with my hands. And then we'll get started with this Tunisian. We'll have some fun. It's a it's a great day. I appreciate you. What am I stitching that? I'm gonna be playing around with um a Tunisian stitch, which is like a, a different type of stitch. And I'm going to be using, um, we're going to just play around with a new stitch. That's all. Well, it's not new for some, but it's going to, we're just playing around with some new things. I'm going to make like a little dishcloth in the meantime. Um, I think it's kind of something quick to work up. Hey, Auntie Dana, I love Tunisian, especially for, yes, that's what I'm about to do. You always told me that, Kelly. You always say you love your Tunisian for dishcloth because it makes them durable. Yes. Look at my husband saying, Law, baby, you love to say guys, Law. So I am using this yarn. I love this yarn. And it is in the color of, what color is it, guys? It's in the color of antique gold, okay? He said, like, oh, geez, I would be wondering if I'm spelling Tunisian right. And it's in the live title. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I used to say um, tun Tunisian. What did I just say? Tunisian. No, tunan. I can't even say it wrong anymore. I used to say um, tun Tunisian. Tunisian. I can't even remember what I just say. <laughs> Come on in, guys. Hello. I appreciate you guys being in the building. Donna, I love you. How you doing, Donna? You guys are the best family ever. Best family ever. And I'm going to get myself in here so we can have some fun. Um, and we're going to play with a little Tunisian crochet. And that's what we're doing for this morning, guys. We're going to have some fun this week. And remember, guys, when you see surprise, surprise in the title, please be there. <laughs> please be there or be square, guys, okay? Let me turn my um, picture up because we want to be able to see what we're doing, Lord. Okay? I want you guys to see what I'm doing here in the chat. <clears throat> okay, let me see. If I can do this, I'm hoping I'm having the right way, and that's what I'm really hoping. Hey, 
Hey, Granny. Come on in, everybody. I love you guys. Thank y'all for being here. And my sis, mine is I love sneezing and crochet. I've been, you've been doing it for years. Oh, my goodness. I used to be scared of sneezing. Anybody else been scared of sneezing? I used to be scared of sneezing and crochet, guys. So we're about to have some fun with that. Let's get me in the building. You want to see me? See my hair? I got to meet this guy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot to meet me. I forgot to meet me. Sorry, guys. I block it. Please forgive me, guys. All right. Can you see my hands? There we go. Okay, my hands. I'm trying to figure out how to get my hands the wet one. Which way will make them straight? They'll still be sideways. Mm. Is that, I have to switch my camera. Hold on. Is that going to be it? There we go. I had to do some. <laughs> I had to rotate my phone. My phone was like, rotate me. You're not rotating me, Lord. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I think I'll scoot down just a tad bit. I'll scoot this down a tad bit. All right. And here we are. All right. Okay. Let's have some fun on this morning. I am super happy to have you guys here. All right, where am I at? Where am I at? Here we go. All right. Okay. So for those who don't know what Tunisian crochet is, it is another way to crochet, and you will be using a longer hook. Now, there's different types of Tunisian crochets. Now, you don't always have to use um, you don't always have to use these type of hooks. This is one right here. A lot of times people call it Afghan hooks. Afghan. All right. So this is one. See how long it is? And they usually have like a stopper or something on the end. I got these from Walmart years ago. Now you can get all kinds. Now this is where I keep my yarn needle, my my um, knitting needles, as well as my Tunisian crochet hooks. Alrighty. And so, like I said, guys, I got those from Walmart a couple years ago, and they come in all types. All right. I also got these. Joe bought me these from Wish right here, guys. I know they're jumbled up, but I can take them apart. They're not too bad. Okay. So you can use those. Do I have any more? I thought I had some more from Walmart. Somewhere, guys. I have to figure out where they at. I'm gonna get some more. Um, I do have these, which I have the uh, cords on them, and these cords are for like longer projects. So if you're making something that's super long and big, this is gonna be for that. Where is this one? Okay, that's cool. And that's gonna be for those. So if you have like your super long one with this cord, guys, it's going to be like if you're making like a sweater or a blanket, something big and something wide. And the reason I did get this was I found a pattern for like a beautiful like top. And I was like, oh, I want this. And it was like, you have to have a cord and need something longer. I want to learn to need, I want to learn Tunisian. And I'm wondering if you mix Tunisian and knitting in one part. Oh, if you can, I don't know. Well, good morning. I appreciate you guys for being here. Granny said hello to everybody in the building. Hey, Granny, we appreciate you being here. So we better get started, guys, because I know we don't have that much extreme time. But I will be using my K hook today, okay? I'll be using that. Um, and I'll be using my Love is Cotton, guys, okay? And we're going to start off with a chain of 23, all right? We're just going to have some fun. It's just something simple. Um, I do have tutorials on this, guys, if you want to be a support. I got to figure, I got to get all my tutorials in a um, playlist. I got some of them in the playlist, guys. I don't have them all, though, yet, okay? So if you don't have a Tunisian crochet hook, you can play around with it with a regular hook, guys. Don't get discouraged. You can play, just get you like an aluminum hook, all aluminum, and that way you can play with it, okay? Don't feel like, oh, I don't have any Tunisian hook, but I really want to play with this. I want to try it. Just give it a try. Okay, I guarantee you will love it. Let's see if I can get better in my hands. I'm trying to figure out where's my camera at. Where's my camera? Okay, here it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and chain 23. Okay, let's have some fun, guys. Let's chain 23. I'm using a K hook. Um, usually with Tunisian crochet, they always say use like a K hook, 6.5, something kind of big, so that way your tension. Hey, Heather, good morning, everybody. Love you guys. So the tension is what you have to worry about with Tunisian. It can be really easy to um to make sure it can be really easy to let me scoop myself up Lord. good morning everybody thank y'all for being here it can be really easy to have loose tension when it comes to tunisian lord this hook is so long on me well, i'm trying to do this tutorial okay let me figure out which way i need to be there we go so let me see let me take this down because this is too loose now sometimes it's too loose guys okay 
So we have one. Let's do one. I'm trying to stay in this camera. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. All right, guys, so we have 23 in the chat. Good morning, Consuelo. It looks like a plan. plan. Hope it works out for you. Everybody, love you guys. Come on in. I appreciate you guys. Just get some family in the chat. You're always welcome to bake in the chat. You're always welcome to do it all in the chat, okay? Um, where's where my camera at, Law? I'm not, yeah, that's why I had to say, <laughs> where's my camera at, Law? I know it's right there, but baby, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Leave me alone, honey. I'm like, where's my camera for my phone at? Because I'm like out of it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I always go. How do y'all crochet? I always go down the back humps. I'm a big, I'm a back humper. The the back of the chain. I like to go down the little humps down the back of the chain. All right, so let's go down these back humps, guys. And this is how we're going to do it, all right? We're going to go down the back humps of this chain, all right? Where are we at? There we go. And like I said, like we do a regular double crochet or regular stitch, we always skip the first stitch, okay? Lord, this, Lord, this hook is long. You know what I'm going <laughs> to? Guys, that's what I'm doing. I'm switching off. I'm going to my corded hook. I told you guys what it looks like and all that good stuff. So we're going over to the corded hook. Cause I can't take it. That thing is heavy, lot. It's heavy. It's heavy. And somebody told me, like, boy hooks are heavy. I'm just like, no, they're not. Don't talk about boy. Mm. Okay. So yes, they are. They are heavy. And um, let's do. Uh, okay, let me take one down. All right, let's do this again. Okay. So we're gonna go down. Hey, Janers. Ah, Jana Riz is in that building. She's one of our amazing members. Hey, Jana Riz, she's over in the Philippines. Oh my goodness, it is 9 p.m. your time. Hey, Jana Riz, come on in. Judith, welcome in. We appreciate you guys. Welcome in, everybody. I love you guys. We're doing some Tunisian. Okay, so when you're doing Tunisian, you're going down your back humps, okay? And you're just picking them all up. So you're going through one, yarning over, pulling it up, and leaving it there. All the way down. Go through. Yarn over. Pull it through. We're just going through all these stitches, okay? So if we got 23 loops and we start with 23 chains, guess what? We're going to have it. We're going to have 23 when we end. All right? And this might be a little too big. Lord, Lord, Lord. Sorry, guys. I use a bigger hook. I can't find my K hook. Where's my K hook? I don't know where my K hook is at. The good thing about this channel, guys, you get a little bit of bloopers on here. You get a little blooper. Don't worry. Okay. Well, well. That's why I said these are not tutorials. Because you guys will be like, what? Tutorials you can edit. These you can't. Okay? You can't edit these. So just keep going down, guys. Inserting your hook. Just like so. Yarning over and pulling through. Again, guys, if you had 23 chains, you will have 23 loops on your hook. It's just something fun to do. And if you don't have a Tunisian hook, just use like a regular hook and do like Five or ten stitches on a regular hook. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. Jana Riz, how you been doing? We're just doing a little Tunisian crochet, having some fun. And like I said, I appreciate everybody that's in the building. Did I do that right? No, oh, I do it right. And we're just going to have 23 loops on our chain. This is what you call a... um, What is this called? I don't want to say the wrong name. Good morning, everybody. I appreciate you guys. Remember to bake in the chat if you guys would choose to. Grab each other up. We got some giveaways going on over at Jules at the Deep in the Heart of Texas. She's going to be announcing that winner today, very soon after this, guys. So please make sure you're a part of that giveaway. I'm going to hope to see if I can get in it before I get out of here as well. So I'm just going to keep going through. You're just going to yarn. You're going to go insert, yarn over, pull through. And so we have 23 stitches, guys. Okay. Insert. Yarn over, pull through. We're just having some fun. Good morning, everybody. 
that's coming in chat, please hit the thumbs up, guys. It's a show of love for um for the amazing, amazing um host, guys. Please show some love to the host. Um, so insert yarn over, pull through. That's all we're doing. Yes, guys, drop your links. If you're in the chat, drop your links. If you're a gold member or higher, just drop your command. All right, all those good things. Our niece has a command. Hope she'll drop hers. Exclamation holy. I might just change the exclamation guys, girl. Or you know, I don't know. Let's see. I just had holy because when Sis Jane, her beautiful mother's in the chat, they'll know that this link is related to her because Sis Jane is really big on helping out in the chat. We're gonna be having a birthday party for her guys. We just gotta get the time set up yet. I don't know. I know some people want to do it. Some people want to be early because they're like, I don't if it's not a weekend. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a weekend or not. Good morning, Michelle Schlieper. Good morning, Brenda. I love you guys. You brought some Addy Tunisian crochet hooks. Oh, really? Wow, Addy has Tunisian hooks. No, no, I seem like they have um, what's the thing called? You got a migraine? Oh, I'm so sorry, Generous. We love you. You say you're doing double shifts again, Generous? Oh my goodness. Hey, thank you so much for being back. What in a ham sandwich? I know. I know. So look, guys, I got to count these and make sure I have 23 stitches. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. What? Lord. No, that's a ham sandwich right there. Did I miss one? Lord, Lord, Lord. I think I missed a stitch, guys. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty. I missed a stitch somewhere. So don't be like me and miss a stitch. I have no idea where I missed it at. Is that is that it? I have no idea where I missed a stitch at. Okay, guys. He said, Brenda, those were some nice things you sent in. Where's Brenda? What Brenda said? What Dana? Oh, Dana, probably a different Dana. Dana, um. Yeah, head over to Dana Brenda's. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, so what we're going to do now, you start crocheting again? All right. You guys, don't pay attention to me if I did miss one. This is why I said it's not a tutorial. We're just doing the basics, having some fun, okay? <laughs> I got a tutorial where I, do, I actually do it the right way. It is, this is the blooper show because this one, we're going to be done really quick. So what we'll do is now we'll chain one, which we'll yarn over and pull through one, okay? That is our first chain. Okay, we love you, Granny. Have some fun. Yes, get you some stuff done because you got your live stream today and you're going to need to have something to show us. <laughs> so we're going to yarn over, pull through one. Now we're going to yarn through and draw, yarn over and draw through two on every part. That's it. Yarn over, draw through two all the way down. Yarn over, draw through two. I'm going to get me one of those clips. It's like a, a black, what's it called? A uh, ring light that clips onto your phone so you can see a little bit brighter. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way down, okay? That's all you're doing. It's a third stitch from the end. So yarn over, pull through two, guys. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Over, pull through two. Come on in, guys. Hit those thumbs up. Yes, that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, I know it had to be Daniel Wonderlust. <laughs> I know, I know what we were talking about. Yarn over, pull through two. Ooh, Dana, you're making some progress. What y'all making over there? What's everybody working on? I didn't even get to ask everybody what you guys are working on. I'm so sorry. Please don't think that I was not being, uh, I'm not showing you guys love. I love you all. Mama J-Way has her own command as well, guys. She's over here helping people drop links. Please connect with Mama J-Way. Please connect with my husband, Joe Sports and Ministry Talks TV as well, guys. So we're just doing it all the way down, right? Look at that. Now, don't mind this being loose because it's loose. But just know that this is the way you do it. You're working on a sweater? All right. I'm going to be working on my um afghan a little bit after we get done with this. And so now we're going to be doing a simple stitch. Like I told you guys, it's called a simple stitch. And that is because it's very simple. Very, very simple. You're working. Oh, you continue to bag this working last year. Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You got to take the dog. Okay. We love you. Take Maggie out. We love Maggie. And so now what we're going to be doing is just inserting. Okay. So we're going to be going through putting loops back on the hook. 
Oh my gosh, y'all are so amazing. Thank you, Heather, for the super chat. Oh my god. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all are this is amazing. Y'all are so sweet. Miss Ophelia, good morning. I did not see you coming to the building. Hello. You working on a hat? Sweet tea's working on um, thank you, Heather. If y'all don't have Heather, go grab her up. Her command is exclamation mark X. Oh my goodness, we got some good family in the building. Thank y'all. Y'all thank y'all very, very much. You said I'm working on my oldest um grandson's blanket. Yes, sweet tea. I remember you said you was whipping, you was whipping up blankets over there. Did you pull the two from the start or pull through one, then two? Yeah, pull one, freaky, and then you're going to pull through two from the rest on. So the first one is going to be like a chain. So you yarn over, pull through one, and then you yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way down. Okay, let me see. Did you guys have a chance to see my new pattern to be released later this week? I saw the new pattern. Um, and I'm excited about the new pattern. I'm excited because guys, our, my cousin Angie over loving every stitch right baby has a new pattern coming out. You know, guys, I love her patterns. Y'all know I do. I have to work um the cross bookmark for holidays. Oh my goodness, Jules, that's amazing. Good morning, Veronica. We appreciate you for being here. I'm folding clothes and fixing my breakfast. Oh, are you? So what we're gonna be doing now is going right underneath these bars. See these little bars here? I can't wait to get my um ring light for my phone. And we're just going to go here and insert like so, right? And then we're going to pull it up, pull through, just like that. And then we're going to keep going all along these little bars, inserting, just going right underneath it, putting on your hook, yarning over, and pulling it through, just like so. We're just we're just pulling, basically going underneath these, and it's going right through. That's all we're doing all along here, all along these little bars here. You see those little lines across? We're just going all across those. I'm hungry, babe. Lord, Lord, you're hungry. We didn't eat anything. That's why. <laughs> you didn't eat anything, Lord. Oh, baby, didn't eat no food. Let's see. We just went to sleep hungry. So just keep on going, guys. I love y'all. I think I missed it. And I was wondering if there was two ways to do it. So just going that way. Inserting. You went from went to an alpaca farm yesterday. Posted a short video. Oh, my God. I got to go see that, Brenda. Guys, y'all see Brenda? She went over to a, a packer farm. That is amazing. Oh, where are you located? Located? Didn't you tell me this? Where are you down in Florida, right? Florida got a pack of farms. Long, long, long. My mom was just down in Florida about what a year ago, and she was like, "Oh my goodness, honey, you would have loved it down there because they have where you can just have crab and lobster and all that stuff." I'm just like, "Well," she was like, "Yeah." She's like, "They used to come back with buckets." I would be on a city bus coming from work and they would come home with buckets of um like crab legs and stuff moving in a bucket. I'm like, what? She was like, yeah. So I was like, wow. I bet that butt, butt was a bit fishy. <laughs> Good morning, Nana. How you doing? I appreciate you. Yes, we got to go snoop later, Brenda. We got to go see that video. And now when we get to the end, guys, the only thing about Tunisian to me is that end stitch, guys. It can be a little tricky. Um, That's why I show my video um, because it's a little tricky. So you're just gonna basically kind of go through two loops at the end. See how I got two loops on the hook? Because that's the only way it's gonna make it look neater. And you have to go, instead of just going through that one bar, you're gonna turn it to this way and go through both of those um, loops. Okay, and then you're gonna go back down the opposite way all over again, which is gonna be yarning over, pulling through one, yarning over and pulling through two. Yes, guys, we've been going over to Veronica. She's gonna be live at 11. What's it going? You're doing 11.30 or 11, Veronica? I'm not sure. Guys, we got good family. Welcome in, everybody. Nana's is in the house. If you don't know Nana's, everybody here, guys. A lot of us are getting to know each other because we come here every morning. Good morning, Carla. How are you feeling? We're just yarning over, pulling through two again, guys. That's all we're doing. And pardon me for this being loose. It's because I don't have, I didn't want to use a heavy boy. Okay, 11.30 for Veronica, guys, okay? All right, guys. 11.30 for Veronica. So we're yarning over and pulling through two. Yarning over, 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 pulling through two. All the way down, guys. Now you can do this for anything. I'm going to be doing a tutorial because I have something really fun I'm going to do with this stitch. And um, I like this one because it's simple. You don't have to worry about too many craziness. And I got a tutorial coming for this stitch, guys. And like I said, guys, if you ever see tutor uh, surprise, surprise in the title, I'm asking you guys to make sure you come because that's going to be a giveaway day. 
Those are giveaway days, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway per month, a bigger giveaway during the end of the month. All right? So I, I might not put surprise surprise in that video for the giveaway, but um, we'll see. So this is what I have so far. You hear knitting a hat? What? But still watch. Oh, my goodness. That's what I want to do, guys. I want to knit. So we're just going to go back through the same bars again and just have a ball. Picking them all up again, having a ball with them. I want to do that too. You got to go, sis. Okay, we love you, generous. I hope you feel better, okay? Please relax. I don't know if you need to take medicine or put something on your head or sit in a dark room or anything like that. I know my loud voice is probably not helping. I love you, generous. I thank you for supporting, okay? And thank you, thank you, thank you. You have a great night, generous. Thank you for all your support. So, are you making with this? Oh, this is going to be like a dishcloth. I don't know if I'm going to use this as a dishcloth because of my stitching is a little loose, <laughs> Nana. But I'm hoping to make it, uh, you know, this can be used as a dishcloth. Depending on how it looks, I'll see. I'll usually do about 20 rolls of this. You took a session on it? Oh, I hope it helps. I really do. I hope it does. So that's what I'm doing, guys. This is what it looks like so far, if you can notice it. Let me see a little bit. That's what I'm going to get my ring light. It clips right onto the phone. We'll see how it works. You like the color? Thank you. Yeah, this is a gold color. It's a gold cotton by um, Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And it's called Antique Gold. And um, Danny, you just sparked another interest in me. I, love, I will be buying some. There you go. Yes, buy some, Brenda. It's really fun. Now, I do have some. Um, these are some more inexpensive ones. I'm thinking about tickling my fancy with a little bit more pricier one. And the reason why I had ex more inexpensive because I really wasn't I wasn't planning on really kind of getting into it much. But now that I'm kind of liking it, remember, guys, we got to turn it over and get to the last two. Go through these little weird end on the back of here. Okay. But yeah, I'm I'm uh does your hands ever hurt? No, my hands, I think God. I think I know it's God. I'm not gonna say I think. I know it's God because everybody around me is like, oh, for your speed, your hands should hurt. For the length of you've been crocheting your hand shirt, and I thank God my hands never have hurt it. I thank God for that. I thank thank God. My husband gets me to need Oh, yes, yeah, that's what my husband is too. V, me and V have a same some of our husbands because they just like to enable us. <laughs> we tell them stuff we want, and the next thing you know, we got packages in the mail. I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know how this happens. Like my husband right now, I told him there's a ring light that you clip to the phone. I'm sure I'm gonna get one. You said, wow, because it hurts me. Really? I'm so sorry, Nana. I really have learned over the years to grip my hook really loose. I don't know how y'all do, y'all, but I grip my hook really, really loosely. I don't hold it. I don't hold it tight at all. I don't hold it tight at all. I don't know if ergonomic hooks might help you as well, Nana, where you can get something on your, you know, like not just a regular hook, but you have like some type of pencil grip or something. Look at Joe and say, Lord, help me, Lord. Mm. You don't hurt anymore, Kelly. Well, it's amazing. I, I just thank God because you know that's a true blessing. Because a lot of us use you know crochet and things of this sort as a um, as a therapy, you know. So what if we didn't have you know? Of course we're going to go to God first, but I'm just saying if we want something here on Earth to, to kind of get a little creative with and craft with, um, you know, we want to have something that relaxes and you know, like Kelly's my beautiful niece Kelly. She has a cup. It says she crochets to um, so she don't have to punch people or something. Like that. Have you guys seen that? And so, um, you know, crochet is a therapy. And Mama J. Wade said, how you doing, Anna? So, guys, here we go. Like I said, you can just keep doing this. And 20 rows will make it a really, really nice um, square. And then if you want, you can do a, a nice border. I usually that could do a border. Now, it usually kind of curls up. If you notice, it'll, it'll, it'll get like a little curl. I know single crochet can definitely help with that curl. Some people do like a little steam blocking. Yes, hold the hook loosely. Yeah, hold the hook loosely. Don't hold that baby like you got like you, you, you <laughs> like you're trying to choke somebody out. Don't do that one. No choking out. And yes, hands to exercises. Most definitely. I know my niece Kelly. Have you did those videos yet? I know you're when we first met, you were speaking of different things you're gonna be helping with. And I'm not sure if you did them yet, because you, you've been cranking out videos. I'm gonna be honest. I gotta get better at cranking out my videos, guys. I do so many live streams. I go live at least twice a day. <laughs> I have no time for videos. I need video content, guys. But it's all good. You guys still love me, so I must be doing something right. 
Let's see. I guess I do crafts to relax and calm down. Exactly. For a busy day, you just want to come home, maybe do a little knitting, a little crocheting, a little beading. I mean, whatever, a little painting. That's what we're going to be doing here. Guys, it's going to be days where we're going to be doing it all. And I can't. I got so many things in the store. I don't want to ruin a surprise because I do. I do that a lot. I will ruin a surprise in one in any in any minute. I will. Okay, I will ruin that surprise. I'll tell you everything that's going on. You guys won't be surprised. Like, I don't want to do that. So we got some good stuff coming on. Just know that. Many of you know what I designed this channel for. And um, so you'll know what I mean by that. So we're just going to keep on going. This is amazing, guys. Even though it's looser than what I thought of what I wanted it to be, the stitches look pretty neat still. Look. What do you guys think? I'm just saying I wasn't expecting it to be, uh, you know. Crochet saves life. For <laughs> Say it again, niece. Crochet saves lives, Law. <laughs> law, law, law. Thank you, Lord, for the live being saved. <laughs> thank you, Lord, for saving all these lives, Jesus. You know, Lord, thank you for making a way. That's all I can say. No, I'm just kidding. You know, we don't we don't want to hurt anyone, but you know, it definitely helps us not have to bark at anyone, you know, have those attitudes and anything. Last time before I go, giveaway. Jules, okay, 2 p.m. Central time. That means 3 p.m. Eastern, guys. Come on. Deep in the heart of Texas, aka Jules, is doing a giveaway. I, I'm, I'm gonna go over there. I hope you guys are gonna go over there too. All right, there goes her video. So go ahead and join that giveaway, okay? Um, yes, yes, no choking out, yes, Nana, no choking out, <laughs> no choking out, Nana. You hold yours too, Veronica. Look at Veronica, I hold mine too loose. Yeah, you gotta hold them loose, guys. You do because if, if you start holding them too loose, thank you so much, Carla. We know I love you so much, you know that. Um, so we're gonna yarn over, pull through to. And uh, where's that? We're going to yarn over, pull through two again. That's all we're doing. That dry, I, did I, oh, no, no, no. Let me ch check and make sure I did one first. Because I'm chatting and I forget what I'm doing here. Okay, I think I did do it right. Hello. Okay, come on. Okay, yeah, I did chain one here. I can see it. Okay, I'm making sure I try. Miss the videos a little. Most of all, Miss Granny. I know. That's why I said I'm, I'm gonna get better at it, guys. Forgive me. I know. I need. To, I want to have my videos of my finished objects. You know, all that stuff. So just bear with me, guys. Okay. Please bear with me. And I thank y'all for bearing with me because I know it's. I've been doing a lot, and um, it's not looking right at all. At all. Bear with me, guys. Okay. And I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for bearing with me. And understanding. You know what I'm saying? Like people are like I missed your video. I need my videos back, and and I appreciate that for saying that to me. Um, so I'm I'm gonna get better at it. I promise you that one. And when I say that, I'm and I when I say promise, it's actual promise. I'm trying to make sure I got this right, guys. Okay, so yarn over. I'm definitely going to get it right. Okay, so just bear with me on that. Um, whatever I gotta do. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to, if I have to do, um, yeah, this weekend I was planning on doing some videos, but it just really felt good not to do anything. You know, when you do so much, not just at home, not just on YouTube, but in the church. And so many different things, guys. Sometimes it feels good to do nothing. I'm going to be really honest. So um, I'm just ready. I'm going to do, take, like I said, I have some videos. I'm going to do my best to just crank out multiple videos in one day and then post them over a period of time. Okay, he said we all need practice keeping uh, to get better. Yeah, we do. We need all need practice. Practice makes perfect, but still, I don't think it's only perfect, but it'll be close to it, right? Too bad they don't have a club like this at the church. <laughs> well, you know, it depends on. Like, if you don't have one at your church, you can always start one. Um, that's what I like to do. I haven't started one yet, but I've been doing some other classes at church. We've been doing some fitting classes because you know we've been eating healthier, so. A lot of times, it will depend on your pastor. Our pastors like us to do different things like that. If we have any ideas, they like us to do crafting or teaching something that we know about. Kind of keeps us have some fun. Let's see. So how long does it take for you to make a sweater? Um, well, it depends on the size. Bye, Jules. We love you. Thank you for having a good time. We appreciate you all. We got about a minute or so, guys, before we got here. Um, but I just want to show you a little bit of this Tunisia. I love it so far. What do you guys think? I think it's coming along really nicely. Am I low? Am I low? What happened? I done froze up on the screen. Jesus. <laughs> so wh what are you eating now, Dana? Maybe become some healthier. Oh, yes. I'm going to probably be coming up with something healthier as well. 
I've been just doing a lot of salads and stir fries, healthier dishes like that. And I've been eating eggs for my protein. Um, and what else is protein, guys? Um, I'm trying to find different healthier stuff, guys. I'm in, you know, trying to get into a little bit of everything. But if you guys have any healthier recipes, let me know. My niece Kelly has me eating actual plant-based chicken. I never thought I would eat in my life. I'm be straight up honest, but that makes a delicious fajita. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I think that's why I say I love y'all. Thank y'all for being understanding. But I just want to, my video, you know, I want that. I want that. I don't want to crank out small itty bitty videos either. Um, it's best to have longer videos. So that's what I'm going to do. Granny's coming back as well. Fish. Oh, yes. Fish. Yes, yes, yes. Every so often I will have a bit of tuna as well. Because tuna is really good in uh, protein. I had no idea how good tuna was in protein. Even canned tuna is good. Peanut butter for protein. Oh, yes. I don't know how much protein peanut butter I can eat, though. I, I like peanut butter, but then the thing is, sometimes I don't like it. What I want? Which way am I going? This way? Yeah. yeah. I got my husband actually hooked on peanut butter. Can I believe that? He's always full, and I got him hooked on peanut butter. Whoever would have known. Salmon, yes. You fool? Look at Joe. Say he fool. That was hilarious. I don't want perfection, but I do want Exactly. Yes. I, that's all we got to do, guys. We got to, you know. All right, going to Lady C's. All right. Love you all. Lady C's live, guys. She's going to be doing her morning meditation. Minister Music is going to be doing his morning meditation. Um, Look at that. So far, so good. No, don't look at that. Okay. Don't look at that. Um, But... <laughs> Look at this part, though. Look at this part. This is my better part. You full and so oh, okay. I don't know about the soul food. Protein will help keep you from getting ha hungry. Don't overdo peanut butter. Yeah, I want to overdo the peanut butter, y'all. Nuts. Oh, nuts have protein. I do love nuts. Guys, Joe brought some nuts home the other day. I was like, mm, I don't want to do too many nuts because of the, um, you know, they're fats, right? But they're supposed to be healthy fats. But me, I'll knock those. What kind of nuts my husband brought? He brought um, pecans. He brought um, walnuts. Almonds. Oh, he brought it all. I don't know if you got any hazel. You know I love my hazelnut. Okay, well, but yeah, he said one church I belong to. What is it? In a Nye had, oh, in New York. Lord, I said in Nye. <laughs> in New York had a service dinner. See, look, this is amazing. Y'all love, y'all look, y'all were keeping the shot moving when it's time to get out of here. Look, it says, um, it had a, oh, had a dinner and a game night starting at five, one Saturday. Yep. That's what we said we was going to do. And then, the weather started acting up. Then this stuff came along and we couldn't do a lot at our church. But yeah, our church, they love to do different activities. If somebody's ready to head it, you know, keep it going. Like our, our pastor said, if you got keys to the church, use those keys. <laughs> That's what he said. He's like, use those keys. I don't want to give you guys keys and you're not even coming in. You're not doing anything. Either cleaning up, praying over the church, you know, decorating the church, having activities. At the, like use those keys. Don't give, I'm not giving you keys that have a decoration and say, oh, I got a key. Actually come in and use the keys. Have some fun. Our babies, we're taking our babies on the first um, ice skating trip, guys, at our church. We, we use pastors. We're taking our babies on an ice skating trip. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so, so happy. I, I can't believe it. Maybe want to go, and uh, I'm excited. Um, I guess we'll probably do some documentation of me falling on my buttocks multiple times. But here we go, guys. I'm going to go through here and finish all that up in a little bit. I'll play around with it. Maybe I'll have something to show you tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but I guess let me see what everybody's saying. LOL. Good morning, Angela. We appreciate you. How you doing? We're about to get out of here, guys. And I appreciate you all for being in the building. I had so much fun. But my beautiful cousin says we make a lot of veggie quesadillas. Oh, Jesus. That sounds like But see, spinach wraps. Okay. Onion, all peppers. Only thing I can't do is a spinach. I can't do spinach and cheese. It will not do me right. Um, but I will try. Okay. If you don't do, oh, but spinach wraps can be with onion and peppers. Okay. Oh, now that might be good. Now that might be good with the spinach wraps without cheese. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to try that. Um, yes, we've been looking, cooking tons of mushrooms. Yes, I've been on them shrooms, y'all. I mean, not shrooms. You can eat too many nuts if you're... Yeah, exactly. That's why I want to be... I don't want to be nutty. My nephew has gone vegan and he has lost, lost a lot of weight and he told me he prepared my meals. Yes, I don't want to be vegan. I just want to be vegetarian for right now. Because if I be vegan, guys, that means I have no milk, no cheeses, no butters. And I'm a fan of all those. <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry, ladies, you're expecting. Yes, we better get out of here, y'all. And thank you so much for being here, guys. I'm going to be working on this. I'm going to finish this up so you guys can be proud of me. 
I want to have something for you guys to be proud of me with, guys. Ain't it? At the rate you're going, it could be here for two hours. I know. I'm getting out of here. Y'all know I'm getting out of here. Because we'll chat. We'll be here all day. I'm going to work on my afghan. This is what I'm going to be doing at the bowling alley today. We'll see. Yeah, no vegan. No, no, no. I love my cheeses, my milks, and my butters. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank y'all for being here. Remember, tonight, 1130 Eastern Time, we'll be back again. More crafts, laughs, growing your channels, all those good things in between time if you're up late. Um, we're going to Veronica. She'll be up at 11.30 Eastern Time, a.m. She'll be doing that. Um, Minister of Music Terrence is live right now, as well as Lady C. If you guys want to get your morning on, Lady C. Russell and Minister of Music Terrence Trower, um, they have a beautiful meditation. If you guys want to get your meditation on, relaxing for the day, get your cleaning on, you hear some beautiful music, some praise and worship, go over there and visit, guys. We appreciate you all for being here. I love you guys. Um, the beautiful jewels over at Deep in the Heart of Texas Fibers is doing a giveaway. She's asking you guys to go hurry up. Because at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, and 12 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard, she will be announcing the winner. So go ahead and hurry, 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 and go and check out that video, guys. All right? I love you all, and I, be, I appreciate you guys for being here. Yes, I love Lady C, too. So you'll see me there. I love you guys. I have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I can't wait to tomorrow. We'll see exactly what we'll be doing there. I love you all. Thank you all for coming in. Please remember, if you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, hit it, hit it, guys. Love you.